You know, I've been here before, but I still don't know what those are. Are they just random, or are those like actual things? Huh? Ooh. So I guess I'll just walk straight to it instead of following the path this time. Because why not, eh? Oh, now that I think about it, um, I should probably fix all of my stuff. Oh, never mind. I'm pretty sure I'm almost at the next level for armor. But I forgot where to get training. I know I went and got training somewhere for armor recently, too. I tried to warn them. Look at this guy. Look at that afro. Maybe they're just confused. Let's talk to him. Oh, what? He guards the gates of madness. See for yourself. He's about to destroy a party of adventurers. They say the keys are sewn up in the gatekeeper's body. Basically, that means you're not getting in. The place was pretty deserted when I got here. Of course, once I was here, others followed. Can't say I blame them. This guy's afro is incredible. Sickly Bernice in Crucible believes she's dying. Okay. Take care. Well, what about this? Oh, I wanted to talk to him. Oh, are we going to go watch the gatekeeper murder some people? Nice. I'm all for good murdering. Also for a good jump jump session, you know? Work on them thighs. <gasps> Dads and calves. Stay away from the gatekeeper. Let us handle this. Your quest for the Crusader's relics was the equal of any of the old tales. Well met, Sir Knight. What? He knows? How does he know? He's pretty scary, isn't he? Let's watch him in action. One leads to the lands of Mania, and one to Dementia. The gatekeeper makes sure no one gets in who isn't supposed to. Okay. It's a nice enough place, less dirty than others. I feel like I belong. That old man in the room made out of butterflies, he said to wait here. If you want to get close to the heretics, try putting on their robes. Okay, that might be good Goodbye. good advice actually. Oh god, we're about to see the gatekeeper murder a bunch of people. They should have listened to me. Why isn't he dying? Why isn't he oh, dying? No. They're bleeding all over the place. Dead. I warned them, didn't I? Good lord, he's murdered like all of them. The formidable gatekeepers destroyed the party of adventurers. I should talk to the residents of Passwall before trying to deal with this creature. Yuck. Should Hello, I... I'm Sheldon. I've been here the longest. That's why I'm mayor of Passwall. That, and because I'm the best at being in charge. Well, you know, you're also Welcome humble. Welcome to my town. He guards the gates of madness. Don't get too close to him. He'll kill you, and it will leave a mess in my town. Jared Ice Veins wants to kill the gatekeeper. Sounds like suicide to me. Interesting. I amaze me. So let's go find Jared Ice Veins. Also, and this is kind of cheating, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. There's another part that we can do that's actually much easier than Jared Ice Veins. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Mother's Chris. So let's go to the Wastrel's Purse. And let's talk to old Dreadwin. I'm Dreadwin. No one was running this place when I got here. They left plenty of things behind, though. What do you need? Ah, so she just took over? He protects the gates of madness. 
He'll kill anyone who gets near. Anyone except Relmina Veranim. She's staying upstairs right now. See? There we go. I feel like I need to be on the other side. I'm just not sure how to get in. I took over the inn when I got here. There wasn't anyone living here. Except for Sheldon. He says he's mayor. Don't believe it. If you have to fight a flesh atronach, a good shock spell is the way to go. Goodbye. Okay, let's talk to Relmina then. Hello, you madam. Wound me. Oh God! My oh my God! With pleasure. Well, what have we here? Another hopeful whose blessing hasn't fully taken root? No, I don't think so. You're an adventurer? How disgusting. Why don't you go back the way you came? Damn, girl. The gatekeeper is my child. The consummation of Sheagorath's wisdom in the womb of my genius. It was a painful and bloody birth, but well worth it. His brothers were less successful. You won't bother those blessed by Lord Sheagorath. You, however, will die trying to get the keys from my child. I'm blessed by Sheagorath. You? Ha! Huh. No, you have a conventional type of soul. But I don't make that decision. The Shivering Isles belong to Lord Sheagorath. Were it up to me, I'd cut you open and show you just how uninspired your blood is. No, you won't be getting in. What? I'm bored with you. Why don't you talk to Nanette? She likes talking. I'll need to cure her of that habit soon enough. There's one sure way to stop a tongue from flapping. Cut it out. Shall I demonstrate? Um, no thank you. I'm out. Okay, so she was talking about the lady. There's a lady. And like I said, I've done this before. I just... Oh, I guess... Okay, there's a marker to her. I was gonna say, I can't really remember where she is, but she's right here. Nanette. Hello? Is there something I can do for you? What was that? He's Relmina's crowning achievement. The gatekeeper keeps out people who don't belong in the Shivering Isles. She made him in the gardens of flesh and bone. She's my teacher. She's going to teach me all her secrets. Oh, and this is really interesting. Wait. Oh, never mind. My big mouth almost just got me in trouble again. It's just down the road from Passwall. It's where Relmina created the gatekeeper. Okay. I'd like to tell you, but really, I, I shouldn't say anything more. Now, there's a reason. Yes? Because our disposition is not high enough. Now, what if I... Let's joke Good one. first. Then we'll boast. I doubt it. What? Admire. Don't waste your flat. Whatever you want. Good lord. Um, I forget how this works. Don't, please. I'm sorry. I doubt it. Okay, so she doesn't like bo- Oh, okay, I get it. Not bad. Not bad at all. What nonsense. Okay, wait, wait. I got this. I got this. So she doesn't like being admired. She enjoys jokes. Okay, let's waste our boast on I the smallest. It. Admire. Oh, God. Um, I'm so bad at this. What? I accept. Yeah, I get it. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Sure. 
sure, that's cute. I doubt it. I accept I have no... Oh! <laughs> Nonsense. I'm blowing it, I'm blowing it. God damn it, why is this so difficult for me? Uh... Um... Hmm. I accept I have no choice. I doubt it. That's that. pretty good. Don't talk such rot. God, I'm so bad at this. Let's just bribe her. Every little... That's not bad. <laughs> okay, I've okay. been dying to there tell we go. someone. You seem trustworthy enough, but... Don't tell Relmina I said anything. Her gatekeeper is flawed. Her tears hurt him. Oh my god, the voice acting. Her tears somehow agitate the Daedra bound to the gatekeeper's body. Her body. tears make it really restless. It strains harder against the warding magic. She may seem like a tough woman, but the gatekeeper makes her all weepy. Go, see for yourself. She visits him every night around midnight. Just don't tell her I said anything. I might get another lesson in the nature of pain. I don't like those lessons very much. Okay. So we learned Take a bit. Care. So her tears hurt the gatekeeper. And she goes to see him at night. Midnight. But I'm also going to get this guy, Jared Ice Veins. You know, just a little help. But the last time I did this, I didn't have this guy. He actually died because I couldn't figure out how to kill the gatekeeper. <laughs> but eventually, I just ended up going through the, uh, through the town to figure I'm it out. I'm Jared Ice Veins. Do you ever wonder why things look better without their skin on? You know, I wonder For all instance, the time. You can only really see the bones when you take them out. You can hear them better that way, too. You know, it's always been a problem of mine, never hearing the bones clear enough. I want him dead. I need him dead. His bones are calling to me. Rumor has it you want him dead, too. If you're any good with a lockpick, we can help each other out. We can get into the gardens of flesh and bone. Oh, I think I'm pretty good with a lockpick. They say the gatekeeper's magical. I don't believe in magic. But I do believe in bones. And the best way to kill something is with the bones of its own. I can see the bones of a dead gatekeeper in the courtyard of the gardens. The door's locked, though. You'll pick that lock, and I'll collect the bones. Then I'll make some arrows, and we'll kill the gatekeeper. Sound good? Good lord, yes. Here, take this lockpick. Careful, it's the only one I've got. You open the door, I'll kill things. Let's go. You know, I think I'm pretty good with a lockpick. He gave me one lockpick. What a guy. Um. So I kind of forgot. I think we actually passed. I wonder if I can just fast travel there. I cannot because I did not pass by it. Damn it. I love this guy. He needs his bones, man. They're calling out to him. You know, you, you just can't... You can't hold a man from his bones. And the bones of his enemies. You can't hold them back. You know, if, if your family member starts talking about the bones of their enemies, you just gotta let them go. You gotta let them get those bones. Um, okay. Should probably Hurry, quick save. Lock open. I can hear them in there. Jesus. This guy's probably insane. You know. But it's all about the bones. I get him. Oh, there's a gatekeeper right there. The best you can ah! Ah! Huh? In before he dies in here. Ah, what huh? Wouldn't that just be... Oh god. They have ice spells? I think I got fire, baby. 
You're not even looking at me either. You just give me a smack every once in a while, you know? Just, le just let me know they're there. Oh, that guy's a bone shard? What is that? Well, obviously it's a... Obviously, it's a uh, alchemy ingredient. Come on. You idiots. Here we are. From these gatekeeper bones, I can make some arrows. Perfect. Find me in a few hours. We'll kill the gatekeeper. Perfect. Goodbye. So in a few hours we go back to old Jared Ice Veins. But, but, first, what time is it? 11.30 p. Wow, this is actually perfect timing. Wow, that, that is really perfect timing. Kind of weird, not going to lie. But, uh... <coughs> Old Relmina should be making her way up to the gatekeeper right now, actually. That is a perfect timing. That is weird. Very weird. So we... Are never, never, never... Crap, hopefully I'm not too late. Please don't be late. Maybe if I jump enough. There she is, there she is. I think I need to... The frick? Oh, the gatekeeper's way up there. The sorceress has dropped a handkerchief full of her tears, which apparently can hurt the gatekeeper. I should get the handkerchief. I can also find Jared to get the arrows made from dead gatekeeper bones once he is done making them. Oh, hey, lady. Just gonna take your tears. I've squeezed a handkerchief full of the sorceress's tears into a bottle. This may act as a poison to the gatekeeper. I have a limited number of doses, so I'll need to be careful using them. I can also find Jared to get the arrows made from dead gatekeeper bones once he's done making them. Oh god, let's go do that. Run away. Run away. No, 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 no. Thank you. Okay. So, we gotta wait for Jared. So let's wait. Let's wait 12 hours. I think that should be good enough. I mean, the man is passionate about his bones. I bet he's done it in an hour. Bet you can whittle out some bone arrows in an hour flat. My grandpappy... He showed me how to whittle out Greetings. some bone arrows out of the bones of my foes. And I tell you what, I made Everything the best damn so bone dead. arrows there is. Um, here we go. We should go hunting soon. Absolutely. The arrows are ready. Here are some for you, and I'll keep some. Let's go kill the gatekeeper. We might die, but there's worse things. Follow me. Let's go. Yes, what is it? So I'm not going to use the bone arrows because I don't quite know how to use them. Um, when I use them, the effect only lasts for like a second. So it's kind of useless to me. See, there's no like actual... It doesn't show you what it does, so it's kind of hard to tell. So I'm going to use Realminas Tears right here. Because it lasts for 120 seconds, and I know the exact amount of time it lasts, you know? It's not like a guessing game. Let's actually wait a second here. An hour should be good. Let's kill this bastard. 
Jared doesn't do that. But there we go. That was so much easier this time. So we got the key to mania and the key to dementia. The gatekeeper is dead. I should retrieve the keys to the gates of madness from the gatekeeper's corpse. Already the did gatekeeper that. The gatekeeper is slain. Congratulations. The honor of taking the keys from his corpse is yours. You know they say the, the gatekeeper keeps the keys in his body. So what, what, where am I pulling them out of? Am I like reaching up his anus or something? <laughs> Is that where he keeps them? In the old prison wallet? Um. The gatekeeper's dead. As soon as you get one of those doors unlocked, we can go in. They're calling to me from in there. Oh man, the bones are still calling. As soon as you get those doors unlocked. Wow, this guy just doesn't care. Okay. I have both the key to mania and the key to dementia. I can go through either door. Of the gates Let of madness. You need something now, oh, it's Haskell. So, you've managed to kill the gatekeeper. Hey, egghead. Pity. Well, you'll now be able to enter the realm proper. You'll notice there are two doors. One leads to the lands of mania, the other to dementia. Enter through either one. The lands are quite distinct, but both are Sheagorath's domain. You'll want to seek out Lord Sheyagorath. I believe he has plans for you. Try not to disappoint him. So, okay. The doorways into the realm proper. You may enter through either one. Really, it depends on which aspect of the realm more suits your disposition. As I've said, all choices have consequences, but don't trouble yourself too much with your decision. All those that enter the realm are forever changed, but some believe it is for the better. A good portion of them, at least. The lands of dementia reflect the darker side of its residence. It is easy to get lost among the tangle of roots growing out of the ground. If you wish to meet dementia's citizens, seek them out in Deepwallow or Felmoor. I'm sure they'll welcome one such as you with open arms. The lands of Mania are bright, vibrant, and full of color. You'll find its inhabitants reflect the land itself. If you wish to meet the residents of Mania, you'll find them in the settlements of Hale and High Cross. Take care, though. Though the citizens and creatures of Mania are colorful, they can often be quite deadly. I'm sure you can handle it, though. It is, of course, the capital of the Shivering Isles. It is divided into Bliss, Crucible, and the Palace Districts. He is the Prince of Madness, the ruler of the Shivering Isles. It is by his will that we exist in this place. He is our Lord and Master. You'll want to speak with him soon, as I believe he has plans for you. You will find him in New Sheoth in his palace. It is best not to make Lord Sheogorath wait. His whims are fleeting, and should he decide you are no longer necessary, it would be to your detriment. Uh -huh. You will enter soon, I imagine, through the gates of madness and into the lands of mania and dementia. It is the realm of Lord Sheogorath. It is what he wills it to be. The trees bloom according to his whim, and the wind blows at his command. Tread lightly in the aisles. It is not a place suited to all mortals, but I'm sure you'll do fine. I like how every time they use Sheogorath's name, it's capitalized I like he's God. Man, none of these guys had anything. 
Anyways, I'm not really sure if the doors are different in any way, but I'm gonna go through the doors of Mania, I believe. Oh, this is madness, sorry. No, the, the place is Mania. There we go. 